Hey Barbell Wad family, Dave Spitzer, California Strength. If you guys have been doing the Barbell Wad, you are ideally suited for this workout. You should kill this. So let's talk about it real quick. The first open workout, workout 15-1. We got a nine minute AMRAP, 15 toes to bar, 10 deadlifts, five snatches, 115 pounds for men, 75 pounds for women. So let's talk about some of the considerations here. Um, the first thing that we're gonna worry about is our grip strength. Grip strength is going to fatigue quickly. So in the toes to bar, as early as the second round, you guys might consider breaking up into eight and seven reps. Um, making sure that uh, we're saving your forearms. Use your lats as frequently as you can, making sure you're pushing down on the bar and, uh, and engaging the lats. You might also consider alternating grip here. So working from a pronated to a supinated grip on some of the toes to bar. Even a mixed grip you could, you could potentially utilize. Um, second thing we're gonna talk about is you're gonna be in flexion and extension a lot through this workout. So we need to really make sure uh, that our lumbar spine here is, um, is doing some work. We wanna make sure that we start with high hips and the deadlift so we can shorten that movement pattern, okay? We need to make sure that we are using exclusively an over under grip here, a mixed grip here. And then in the snatches, we're really gonna to wanna to use a hook grip the entire time. One thing I would encourage you to do as you transition from deadlifts into snatches, don't take your hands off the bar and reset up. Just adjust your grip, slide your grip out, set and go. Okay, so let's shave some time there. As we transition to the clean and jerk, the clean and jerk here, what I want you guys to do is set a goal weight for yourself. So let's build a goal weight here. So for example, if that's 315 pounds, what we want to do is set the movement pattern. So our first attempt, we want to go at 60% of that goal weight. Second attempt, we want to go at 80% of that goal weight. And then for the third attempt, we want to go ahead and hit the goal. And then if you crush that, and you're feeling good, our fourth attempt can be a dream weight. Okay, these, are, uh, these percentages are simply guidelines. We want to make sure that we are cognizant of what is actually uh, easy to load. So if 60% is 265 pounds, go ahead and load 275. Make sure that the loading goes quickly and smoothly. One thing we really want to consider on our clean and jerk attempts, since we used our lumbar so much in the deadlift and snatch portion of this workout, we really want to make sure that our hips are low in the start. Push your feet through the floor, engage your quads, make sure your shoulders and hips are rising at the same, at the same rate in the clean. Okay, and on the jerk portion, stay poised, stay confident, make sure you descend at a measured pace and then drive yourself under that weight. I think you guys should all crush this. This is a great opening workout for us who have been focusing on our strength and prioritizing it. Um, I appreciate you guys being part of the team. Best of luck. Let's crush this thing. What's up, Barbell Wide family? Noah Olson here with some thoughts on 15.1. I think that we are very well prepared for this because of the Barbell Wide programming from Dave. It's helped us build all of our one rep maxes up so that clean and jerk is going to be right up our alley. In conjunction with that, we've been working on a metabolic conditioning as well. So going from the wad right into a heavy lift isn't going to affect us at all. In regards to kind of everything surrounding the workout, I personally am going to try to get it out of the way as soon as possible. I'm going to try to do my first attempt at every week's open workout on Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I get a little anxious about it and I just think about it a lot laying in bed at night. So I want to get it out of the way. If I'm happy with my day one score, which I'm hoping is the case, I won't have to touch it. If there is a slight chance that I might want to redo it, that can happen again on Monday. So first attempt Friday, if a redo is necessary, that can happen on Monday. Um, I know that Dave said he's gonna pick up the taper and the programming right after the open workout. You're gonna to wanna to do your lifting on Friday. In regards to the rest of the day, um, recovery after just the same way you do every day, get a good meal in, do Normatec, Mark Pro, whatever that is for you. Um, 
eat a good breakfast leading up to it. I'm gonna do the workout at noon. So I'm gonna try to eat something good around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, get some fuel in my system. What else is there in regards to the open workouts? Warm up. Yeah, warm up. I'm sure that you guys all know how to warm up for our clean and jerks by now and warming up for the workout itself. I would get uh, one round in with lighter weight than it is for the workout, even though it's not that heavy in itself. I think that should be everything. Go kick some butt. We'll see you on 15.2.